Towards the end of his life, Reb Chaim Soloveitchik, the Briskarov, requested that on his tombstone they would write the words Ish Chesed. Even though he was a monumental giant when it came to Torah learning, what he preferred that he be forever remembered as was an Ish Chesed. And the types of kindness that he did for all sorts of people, that was also legendary, just a little bit less known, except for those who studied Reb Chaim's life. In this week's Parsha, Yaakov gets his name changed to Yisrael. The Malach, before he changes his name, asks Yaakov, Mashemecha, what's your name? The Malach didn't know what Yaakov's name was. Maybe we could learn an important principle from this question. When going to the mall, so if we don't know where there's a store that we're looking for, so we go to the key, we go to the map to find out where the store is. While the store's location is certainly a very important point, equally important is the big red dot that says, you are here. That it's impossible for us to get to a destination unless we know where we're starting from. Maybe the reason why the Malach asked Yaakov, what's your name, is not for the Malach, but rather for Yaakov. For Yaakov to realize, Mashemecha, what's your identity, where are you coming from? Interestingly enough, of all the Avos that have Midos, we know that Avram is known for his Chesed, Yitzchak is known for Gvura, and Yaakov is known for Emes, for truth. Ironically, in the stories that we know about Yaakov, it's anything but truth. When involved with Lavan in last week's Parsha, so there was trickery and seeming scamming in the plentiful. When he came to the Brachos, so Yaakov tricked his brother Esau. Why would the Mida of Emes, why would that be one which we associate with Yaakov when it seems that Yaakov is the one who struggled with trickery more than any of the other Avos? But maybe that's the point. That when we talk about acquiring a Mida, acquiring a character trait, it's not the ones that were granted from birth, but rather it's the ones that we have to invest effort to work on to define ourselves in that manner. Esav comments about Yaakov after he stole the brachos, that Yaakov tricked me two times. The name Yaakov, while it does also refer to holding on to the heel of Esav when he was born, but the name Yaakov by Yaakveni means trickery. There was something about Yaakov's character that involved scamming, that involved tricking. Yaakov, knowing that that's not the right way to live, worked on his Midah of Emes. And when he struggled with the Malach of Esav, when he was struggling with himself, as the Pasuk says, Vayivaser Yaakov levado vayayavik ishimo. There was nobody else there. So the battle, the struggle, was actually Yaakov struggling with himself and his own identity. That struggle was, who am I? Am I truly the scammer? Am I truly the trickster? Or do I want to elevate myself? Do I want to work on myself to get to the Midah of Emes? And it's when we acquire a Midah, when we struggle to become something, to be identified in a certain manner that's not natural, that's not easy for us, it's when we acquire that Midah, that's when that character trait becomes defined by who we are. So Yaakov is known as Emes, because that's not the way that he was naturally born, but rather he fought with himself. He worked on himself to acquire that specific midah. And that's why the Briskarov asked that we write on his matseva, Ish Chesed. He said for him learning was amazing. He loved it. He was excited when he came up with a new Chiddush. That was easy for him. That was natural for him. That's not an identifying midah but rather to be an ish chesed, to be nice to people, to welcome the homeless into his house, which he did, mm -hmm. to make time for those who needed a listening ear or a shoulder to cry on. He said for him that was not natural, but he knew that it was right. So he had to struggle with himself to become the person that was the ish chesed, which he was successful at becoming. Our greatness is not defined by what's easy for us and what's natural for us. But our greatness will be defined by a character trait that's a struggle that we have to work on, that we have to defeat. 
and when we're successful, so then we can be identified by that particular trait. But the first step before we change is we have to recognize who we are. You are here, the big red dot. When we're aware of ourselves, Mashemecha, what's your name? Yaakov. Right now I'm identified as Yaakov, or identified as a trickster. Right now I'm identified by not being an Ishkaset, or, or by whatever, uh, whatever character trait we feel like we need to work on. When we first recognize who we are, so then it's possible for us to get to where we're going. To get to the point of Yisrael. And of course, for Yaakov, Yaakov means tricking, but Yisrael, the first three letters, Yud Shin Rish, Yashar, means that he succeeded in straightening out and being Yashar and being honest of having integrity. He wrote some of Nevin Shemayim, that Hashem helps us with the most difficult task of being honest with ourselves. And through that recognition, give us the strength and the vision to become even greater. Have a great Shabbos.